fighting to thrive in the face of Obamacare. The administration has announced it's pulling the plug on one of the law's key programs, that being the long-term insurance plan called CLASS, maybe a sign the president's whole legislation could be starting to unwind and unravel. As part of our continuing series, The Mighty Middle Market, we bring in Dr. William Petty, he's chairman and CEO of Exact Tech. He's here to weigh in with Igor Volsky, our pal, co-author of Howard Dean's Prescription for Real Healthcare Reform. All right, Dr. Petty, I begin with you. I always believe what's good for the middle market is good for the rest of the country. They pulled the plug on this long-term class act insurance because it would bankrupt the whole country. Can the same be said for Obamacare? Will it bankrupt the whole country? Is it time to pull the plug? Well, Larry, I'm certainly no expert on that, but I think we all know that the finances were maybe questionable in much of the Obamacare law, and perhaps this is just one of the first pieces of evidence that that is the case. And that was, in fact, the exact, they couldn't pass the actuarial test on this long-term insurance. So that's what ended that. Why don't we have an actuarial test for the entire Obamacare? You know, Senator Judd Gregg inserted this for the long-term insurance plan, the home health insurance plan. They should have had an actuarial test, Dr. Petty, for the entire program. Well, we should always have those kinds of financial actuarial tests to be sure that whatever we're doing is on a sound financial footing. See, Igor Volsky, you don't want any actuarial tests, right? You just want big government to take over health care? Do I have that right, Igor? Well, well, look, Larry, I think the key with the Class Act is that you have the administration follow the letter of the law, the Gregg test, 75 years, it has to be solvent. They couldn't do that. They modeled they couldn't do that. And the reason is, is because they decided if you have a voluntary program, you're going to have more sick people in the pool than healthy people, which is why you need the individual mandate, which is why the exchanges, which kick in in 2014, are going to be actuarially sound because you're going to have that balance. That's what the actuary, that's what CMS says. All right, so let me go back to Dr. Petty. Do you want more mandates, Dr. Petty? Do you want more taxes on your business and others? Do you want more regulations? Would that solve our health care problem? Well, Larry, the regulation and tax issue is a big one for us. We're in a regulated industry anyway, FDA, the various countries around the world that we have to have our products approved for. And then all the additional regulations just make it more expensive for us. On top of that, our particular company is going to be faced with the device tax, which is uh, between a 2 and 3 percent tax. You know, let, 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 let me jump in here. The great thing about the health law, and for medical device companies, is once you have the law expanded, Band coverage. You're going to have 32 million new customers in the law, and so companies like yours, Mr. Petty, are going to benefit from that new business. Let me, ask, let me get Mr. Petty's response to that. Do you yeah. benefit from 30 million more people or whatever the right number is? Sure. I'll comment on that. First of all, you, you did ask, is that the right number? We know that that includes people who choose not to have insurance, people who are between jobs. You know, our practice is an orthopedic surgeon. Well, it's a 32 million expansion, so 32 million are now going to have coverage. They're going to no, go no, into no. your business. Saying, let him finish, Igor. But Dr. I, Petty, you're saying that's a baloney number. They're I paying customers. I practiced orthopedic surgery doing total joint replacement over three decades, and during that period of time, I never had a single patient who could not have the procedure they needed because of insurance. Because the costs are shifted. That's right. The costs are shifted to everyone else who has insurance. The uninsured come in without insurance. Yes, they get the care they need because we're, we're a country that provides people with care when they need it, but it's other people who pay for it. Go the ahead, law Dr. says Petty. you got to take personal right, go responsibility. Ahead, Dr. Petty. Let him, go ahead, doctor. I've actually calculated the uh, device tax effect on our company, and based on our market share, even if we assume it's $30 million, that would bring in an additional at our market share, perhaps as much as five or six million dollars at our profit margin would be on the order of maybe three hundred thousand dollars and the, the device tax is going to be almost three million. Right. And that's so, th so that's how it plays out for our company. All right, we got to get out. That's just the tax beginning. We didn't even talk about the payroll taxes and the investment taxes and all the other regulations stopping jobs. Dr. Bill Petty, thank you. Igor Volsky, thank